Okay, I don't see anybody yet. We have gone live. Uh, Shalom Mishpacha. I see Charles. How you doing? <laughs> this is lesson six of the Hebrew 101 with Michelle Rowe. Rowe. Hey Lance, how you doing? Gonna wait for some people to jump in and um, we'll try and go over the homework from the previous week from lesson five. We'll get through that and then um, uh, I'll say this again once we get more people on, but um, we'll, uh, this will be the last week for homework. So after this, it's up to you guys. <laughs> Linda Dawes, hi honey. Let's see. I only put my reminder out like 15 minutes ago, so um, it might take a few minutes for people to see that we've gone live. All right. So how was your guys' week? How was your uh, Sabbath? Did you guys have a good Sabbath? Now, I need to learn how to tag people in the live video, and I'm not, let's see. I'm not sure how to tag people in the live video to get them here. Hey, Linda, do you want to tag some people? Let's see. It's not showing me. There's Tamara. Hi, honey. Oh, invite friends. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, invite, invite, invite. Cool, I just figured it out. <laughs> Is Leona here? I'm gonna invite Leona. We haven't seen Wayne on here for a while. I'll, I'll invite him. Let's see, who else? Josie, William, Sean. Let me just get through inviting a few people so they know we've gone live. We only, it shows I only have five people right now, so let's see. I just now figured out how to invite people. Oh, well, okay. Let's see if that works. I have my face all in the camera. <laughs> <clears throat> so this is lesson six. Looking forward to getting started once we just get a few more people on here. There's Leona. Hi, honey. Linda Doss. I apologize. I'm just a tad bit congested. Anu Philippose. Glory to Yeshua. Amen. Hallelujah. Philip. Nice to have you. Helen Powell. Okay. Yay, I'm here, she says. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to go over, um, we're going to go over uh, the homework from Lesson 5, which probably shouldn't take too long. Hi, <laughs> honey. Okay. Lola Katz, hi, nice to have you. And last week we learned um, Mitze or Maze, which is, who is this? or that, depending on the male or the female. And then I gave you a list of, did you guys all get your homework done? <laughs> You've had two weeks. I gave you a list, I think it was about 22 words here, to put in um, into the sentences. So we're just going to uh, go over the uh, sentences. Hi, Irene. Looks like Omar has joined us, awesome. Okay, well, I think we have enough people. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that um, this is the last week that we're going to do homework, where we're going to go over homework, because <clears throat> we talked about um, doing multiple lessons back-to-back -back so that you guys could have, you know, multiple lessons, and I can get through them before we actually leave um, for Israel. And so um, – what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop giving homework. I'm going to leave it up to you guys to practice during the week, and then I'll just keep showing you new stuff each week. Um, so 
Okay. So let's just go ahead and get started. So last week I gave you guys a vocab list, and I'm just going to go over the vocab list. And this time we have a me or a ma that you should have wrote instead of just a maze, which is what maze, what is it? We also have who is it? So we have me or we have ma and then we have ze or we have zot. Oh, I hope I didn't go too far over. You guys can see this. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So well, you should have formed sentences using either me or ma, ze or zot, and that would be the question. And then you should have answered with a ze or zot, and then the word. So we'll just go over the vocab word. So we'll just go over it now. I hope you guys can see all of that. So starting with the first word, we had backpack. Backpack. Let's see. I think I'm going to use a darker color because this blue, I think, is kind of wearing out. So backpack is male. So you should have wrote, and backpack is a thing. So you should have wrote, it's not a person. So you should have wrote ma, ze, ze, um, yalkut. Ma, ze, ze, yalkut for number one. Number two is student, and, the, and, the, and it was in the male form. So number two should have been ma, ze, ze, talmid. Ze, talmid for male for student. Number three was also student, but in the female form. So you should have wrote, uh, actually you should have wrote me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cause who, cause the student would be who. So you should have wrote me, zot, mi zot, zot talmida. Who is this? This is a student. And I think the rest of these are nouns, up to 14, it's nouns. Two and three were for me. Did you guys get it right? I'm seeing hearts. Awesome. <laughs> Feels good to get it right, huh? Wait till you see what I have for you this week. It's going to be fun. We're adding one more, one more um, um, word. We're, we're going to get into the adjective. Adject are we getting into that? No, not yet. That's next week. Okay. So number four is plate. Plate is female. So you should have said ma zot, zot zalachat. Ma zot, zot zalachat. Number five is train. That's also female. So you should have wrote ma zot, zot brachevet. Mazot, what is this? This is a train. Zot Rachevit. Hi, Naria. <laughs> I can tag you, by the way, in the rest of these if you want to be tagged. I didn't know if you were following along, so just say yes or no um, if you want me to, to continue to tag you. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Joni. <clears throat> So number six is salad. Salad is male. So you should have wrote ma ze. Ma ze, what is this? Ze salat. Salat, ze salat. This is a salad. Seven, <clears throat> dalet is female. Is door. So you should have wrote ma zot, zot dalet. What is this? This is a door. Mazot, zot, dalet. Dalet. Dalet, not dalet. I do that all the time, sorry. Awesome. Looks like you guys are doing good. 
Okay. Sorry, like I said, I'm just a little bit congested. Keeping gum in my mouth so I have some moisture. Okay, number eight. Eight is window. That is a male word. It's halon. <clears throat> so it's male, and it's a thing. So you would say ma ze, ma ze, ze halon, ma ze ze halon. What is this? This is a window. Number nine is notebook. Notebook is female, so you should have wrote mazot. Zot machberet, machberet. Number 10 is ball. Ball is male, so you should have wrote <clears throat> matze ze kadur. What is this? This is a ball. Shalom, Deborah. Okay. Number 11 is baby. And it's in the male form. It's a baby boy was the first one. So you would say, and for baby, you could probably put me. Or what is this? This is a baby. You could put me or ma. So either way is right. I would prefer who. Who is this? Or you could say what is this. But I think most people would know that's a baby. <laughs> that might be kind of rude, actually. I think you should probably put me. So the first one is male, so it's mitze. <laughs> Mitze ze tanuk. Tanuk. Ok, actually. It's an O. Tanuk. Ze tanuk. Mitze ze tanuk. Number 12 is baby for girl. So it would be mi zot. Mi zot. Zot tinuket. Zot tinuket. <clears throat> Number 13 is rooster. That is a male word. Or it's, yeah, rooster is male. So you would say, uh, ma ze, ze tongol, tongol. And if you guys wrote it properly, um, under the resh and the noon, you have a sheva. So it's tarn, tarngol. And then 14 is chicken. Chicken is a female. So it's like the male and the female for like a rooster and a chicken. Chicken is female, so you should have wrote mazot zot tarngulet. Mazot zot tarngulet. Now the rest of these are all me. They're all going to be me. For who? 15 is brother. Brother is male, obviously. These ones are super easy to tell the male and the female because it's male or female people. <laughs> So, mise, mise, ze ach. Who is this? This is brother. 16 is sister. Mi zot, mi zot, zot, achot. Sorry. Sometimes I want to say achoti because I write achoti, which means my sister, but this is just for sister, not my sister. <coughs> So, mizot, zot, achot. We're rhyming. <laughs> 17 is father. Father is male. So, mitze, ze abba. Mitze, ze abba. Who is this? This is father. 18 is mother. Mitzot, zot ima. Mitzot, zot ima. Who is this? This is mother. 19 is grandfather, Saba. Mizot, Zot, Saba. Who is this? This is grandfather. 19 is grandmother. Ooh, 20, I'm sorry. 20 is grandmother, Savta. So it's Mizot, Zot, Savta. Mizot, Zot, Savta. Who is this? This is grandmother. 21 is man. Mitze, ze ish. Who is this? This is man, or this is a man. 
And the last one is woman. So you'd say, mitzot zot isha. Mitzot zot isha. How many of you got those right? Or most of them right? Get some thumbs up around here. <laughs> Did you guys do good? If not, just rewind and, and correct what, what you didn't do. Make sure you have the correction in the notebook. So when you go back and you look <clears throat> to remember, because if you don't use it every day, you'll forget it. So you need to keep going through your notebook. Or if you're learning with somebody, if you're watching this with your, your spouse or with your children, practice on each other. Like I said before, put sticky notes um, on things like a door, delet, or a table, shukhan. You know, um, you can put stickers on chairs, kise, uh, um, you know, windows, halon, and just write it in Hebrew and then in English, and that's very helpful. And you could just walk around and, you know, in the living room is called a salon in Israel. You could say, I'm walking into the salon. <laughs> Where were you all day? I was at the, I was at the salon. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to go on to lesson six, and like I said before, if you missed it from the beginning of the video, we are, this is the last week I'm going to give you guys homework. Um, that way I can do lessons back to back. The reason why I couldn't, I would have gone on here and I probably would have because, I don't know, it, it, it's going to be helpful for you if I can do one lesson and then turn the video off and then do another lesson, so I'm trying to... I have lesson seven done already. If I can get lesson eight done next week, I might be able to do two lessons at a time. And then you guys can just practice as you go. Because after this, after you get the sentence structure, which I'm going to add another word here, <clears throat> a connecting word. Hang on one second. Um, then you guys are good to go. It's just a matter of practicing and using it in your daily. Hi, Joyce. <laughs> Sorry if you missed the beginning of this. Well, we don't have a lot of people today. Okay. So lesson six, we are forming a sentence. We're going to use, connect, we're going to connect it with two nouns this time. So I'm going to do this to give you guys an example. And then what I'll do is after I give you guys the example, I'm going to give you guys um, the new the new uh, vocab list, to, and then I'm going to give you guys a, a list of words that are like transliterated words, like pizza, and it actually, when you read it out, sounds like pizza, like they don't have another word in Hebrew for the word pizza, it's just pizza. <laughs> so <clears throat> I've got about uh, 12 of those words, and then you've got 15 vocab words. So your flashcards should be growing, you guys should be keeping up making your flashcards. Yes, post-it notes. Absolutely, Stephen. That's what I did. That's that's how I, I was able to. We also did flash our, used our flashcards at night when we weren't doing anything. Um, after dinner or during dinner or whatever, we would just, um, I'd hold the flashcards for Paul and he'd hold them for me. So, <clears throat> okay, so we're going to be adding uh, another word. And it's a single, it's a single letter. This is ve. Ve. Ve attached to the word that follows it becomes and. <clears throat> so if I'm writing this is father or this is a father or this is father and this is mother, you would say ze, abba. And I'll leave this up here for a minute so that you can write it down. You add the ve with the sheva because it just goes ve, but you connect it to the, to the other word. So it would be zot, ima. My writing is getting worse as I'm going down. I think I'm going downhill here. <laughs> Ima. That looks like a lot just for, you know, six weeks doing these lessons, but you can read this. If you've been following around, or I mean following along, <laughs> um, you know ze. This is the this is the male form of ze. This this is this or that. So we'll write this. 
is is implied, okay? A is implied, Abba. We're just gonna say this is Abba. This is Father. This is Father. You can read that. Now we're just adding the and. And, oh, my pen. And this is mother. Sorry about my writing. You can look at this sentence and read it. Ze Abba ve zot ima. This is father and this is mother. Are you guys following along? Ze, this is father and this is mother. So I'm going to leave that up. Do you guys save your questions, I guess, for the end if you have any questions. Just remember to leave that space. We space in between the words. This, this, uh, they is always connected to the following word. <clears throat> it makes an and. And it's cool because there's a couple other, um, that we'll, we'll learn. There's a couple other letters that, that will make a, a joint, a connecting to connect the sentence, but it's always connected to the following. Got it. Awesome. Okay. It's always connected to the following word. So I'll give you one more example here. Let's see. We'll do all female because that was male, male, female, female. Let's see. All right. We'll do... And I want to give you guys a chance to read this. Um, I'll leave it up, and then try and try and read what I'm writing here. It's hard because I can't hear you, <laughs> but I'll give you I'll give you a minute or two to try and write it into the um, the the um, comment section. So I'm gonna write zot. Zot. It's kind of big. Actually, I think I'm making it too big. <laughs> Sorry. Can you guys see that online okay? It looks like through my camera it's okay. Okay, so we're going to do zot. Zot. More. No, mora. Because this is female, so this has to be female. And... They connected to the next. Zot. Oh, I don't know if I have enough room. Shoot. <laughs> I'll write it a little smaller. I'll write it right here. You know what? Also, I think I'm spelling this word wrong. Let me look this up really quick. I think there is, um, actually, I think I wrote it here. In this word, I think there's a yod. And I think I wrote it wrong in my notes. So let me look this up really quick. And I meant to do that, and I just now remembered, and I apologize. Try and read what I wrote. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. One second. Let me see. Where's that word? And I'm not sure what page it's on, so give me one more second. It is. Okay, so there's a yod here, and I spelled this word wrong, so you guys are going to have to correct it, and I apologize. I just caught it. It's tal ni da. Okay? So, zot mora ve zot tal ni da. They're all female. Can you guys read that? Sorry, I put that one lower. I just didn't know if I was going to be able to fit it. I should have started over here. <laughs> zot mora ve zot talmida. So we know what zot is. 
Can you guys remember what Mora? I'm actually the Mora. So this. This or that is a teacher and this is a student. Did you guys get it? Were you able to read it? It's cool because you think about when we started lesson one, just to lesson six, if you're practicing at home and you're doing your homework, you should be able to read this. Zot mora ve zot talmidad. This is a teacher and this is a student, all female. So this is what I want you guys to do. And this lesson isn't going to be too long. I'm thinking about maybe just coming on next week, depending on my schedule. I know the guys are on next week for uh, Two Men in the Torah. Um, let's see. We can go over the homework next week, and then I can do a little bit of a longer lesson because um, we won't be going over homework. <laughs> so this is the last week we'll have homework. Let's see. Where am I? Oh, I'm on lesson six. Here we go. So now what you're doing is you're taking you're taking the noun and you're adding an and so that you can create an, uh, this and that, okay? So I'm going to give you, I hope you guys have time to write that down just as examples for you. Um, I'm going to give you a list of words that I want you to connect, like this is Abba and this is Ima. This is father and this is mother. So number one... <clears throat> and I want you to go back to remember how to write it in the Hebrew. I'm just going to say it in the English, and I want you guys to write it in the Hebrew. Number one is grandfather and grandmother. So I'll just write that down for you guys. I guess I don't really have to write it down. I'm just going to give it to you. You guys can write it down. <laughs> I mean, if I was writing it in the Hebrew, I guess I would write it down. But so. Number one is grandfather and grandmother. And we're just connecting with the ve. The ve connects to the following word. Number two is hala and apple. Are you guys understanding? Number three is salad and plate. So you got to know if these are male or female words and then use the male or female form of this or that and then connect it with the next word and using the male and female forms. So number one, I'll just, I'll just, I won't write it out, but I'll say it. This is grandfather and this is grandmother. So you would write ze, saba, ve, zot, savta. This is grandfather and this is grandmother. And you do the same with number two, challah and apple. Number three, salad and plate. Number four, I want you to connect rooster and chicken. Number five, I want you to connect door and window. It's just and. Yeah, that's how they say and. So you can say... Abba and and you'll connect it to the Ima. Ima. So Abba and Ima. Father and mother. So father and mother. And you connect, see how the and is connected to the ima.
One second. Okay. Shalom, Raphael. I see George and Norman. Cool. So what did I leave off at? I gave you door and window for number five. Number six is train and backpack. I want you to connect train and backpack. Does that make sense now, Leona? They? It's just a connector word. It's like writing mom and dad. It's just and. <clears throat> okay. And let's see. Train and backpack. Number seven is table and chair. Table and chair. Got it. Awesome, Leona. And so we're going to quickly go over the, um, the vocab list, connect those, and then the reason why I'm giving you more vocabulary is because of the rest of the lessons from here on out. These are the words that they use. And each, each lesson you get new words from the book, and they give you like a lot of words. So um, these are the words that we're going to need to know for um, lesson number seven. And then after that, I'll give you the fun words. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> I think the neighbors are, let's, uh, let's do this. I'm going to have to sign off for one second, and then I'm going to come back on. Okay, you guys? I'll be right back. I need to find out what's going on next door. I'll come right back.